the latest installment of EA's incredible spacefaring series is warping its way onto your PC this March, and we've put together a handy guide to help you tell your keepers from your Krogan. Here are five things you need to know about Mass Effect Andromeda. First of all, it really doesn't matter whether you're a seasoned Reaper botherer or an intergalactic debutante. You don't need to have played previous titles in the Mass Effect series to enjoy Andromeda. The story here begins in 2185 and is set between the events of Mass Effect 2 and 3. The four allied Citadel Council races have decided to launch the Andromeda Initiative, a program conceived to find and populate new home worlds. Each race sends 20,000 citizens on a 600-year one-way trip to the Andromeda Galaxy, led by a Pathfinder. On arrival, they must explore systems, colonise new worlds and contribute to the construction of the Nexus, a vast space station acting as the political centre of the galaxy, all whilst ensuring the very survival of their species. No biggie. Yeah, no way this is home. The Andromeda Galaxy itself lies 780 kiloparsecs, or 2.5 million light-years from Earth, and as such, Mass Effect 3's epoch-defining events back in the Milky Way have no bearing on life here. Everything takes place within the Helios cluster of the Andromeda Galaxy, a portion of space populated by a multitude of star systems, and you can now see everything in real time through the windows of your ship, the Tempest. Planets, moons, starships and anomalies all await discovery and exploration. All stop, now! You take control of one of the Ryder twins, Scott or Sarah, the progeny of humanity's pathfinder, Alec Ryder. When starting out, you can of course change your first name and appearance, and the familial resemblance of your sibling and father will change to match. Waking after a 634-year slumber en route to the Andromeda Galaxy, it becomes apparent that you are late to the party, with other Citadel races already having settled some of the cluster's planets. It's up to you and your squad to then visit worlds, meet characters, make alliances and establish bases. As you progress, you can increase the viability of planets you discover by quashing threats, forging good relations with the locals, overcoming environmental challenges and completing story missions. Once viability surpasses 40%, you can even build an outpost. But regardless of whether you do or not, general exploration rewards you with Andromeda viability points. Reaching certain thresholds will allow you to upgrade the Nexus and wake colonists with specific skill sets from cryosleep. You will not, however, be alone in your reconnaissance or romantic endeavours. Six squad mates have your back on the ground, with each one possessing three active and two passive skills, giving you a variety of combat options as you order them around the battlefield. They include commando-trained Cora Harper, Asari warrior Perisalia Basale, security specialist Liam Costa, close combat expert Nakmore Drac, defensive pro Vetra Nix, and resistance fighter Jarl. Meanwhile, Ryder's crewmates include Solarian pilot Kalo Jath, Artificial Intelligence Sam, and the Asari Doctor Lexi Tapero, played by Game of Thrones star Natalie Dormer. Combat in Mass Effect Andromeda is both fast and furious, with Ryder's jump jet allowing you to quickly leap, evade and hover, and the new dynamic cover system means you can use pretty much anything in the environment to shelter from the storm. There are four weapon types to make use of, with no class restrictions locking you into a particular path. And you can enjoy projectile ordnance from the Milky Way, remnant beam weapons, and plasma weapons local to the Helios cluster. There are also a whole host of skills and abilities to unlock and develop, including the application of dark energy to control mass and gravity with biotics. 